What is up everyone and welcome back to the channel and welcome to another video. Now, in this video I want to talk about uh, a little bit about electronics and technology on the motorbike. Uh, because as some of you know, that uh, I use for my trips and for around the city for navigation, I use my phone mounted to a, a quad lock. I have currently just switched to an DS23 Ultra from Samsung. It's a pretty expensive phone, it was a big invest investment. So I keep my quad lock with the vibration damper, dampener and everything. Now this is a waterproof phone, I think it's IP68 or 67. It should be fine out in the rain, but it's an expensive phone. So what options do you have if you want something uh, on your handlebars for navigation, if you want to use stuff like Google Maps, and uh, but you don't want your phone on your handlebar? Either you're afraid for the cameras because they can get damaged uh, from the vibrations of the machine if you don't use a vibration dampener or from the weather. If you don't want to put it out in the cold, in the snow, in the rain, in the everything. Well, normally for cars, they, they used to be or they still are a couple of replacement uh, head units that run on Android. Those are basically Android tablets and uh, when you pay 200 euros for such a unit, it's basically a 200 euro Android tablet. So the experience is ugh, iffy to say the least. They are slow, they are cumbersome, they lag a lot. But there's a company that's reached out and disclaimer alert, I got this product for free. Uh, but they have no say in what I say in this video, so I am free to say whatever I want. But there's a company that uh, thought there's a better way. Because in modern cars, we now have Android Auto and Apple CarPlay. So why not make a screen that goes on the dashboard of your car or on the handlebars of your motorcycle especially, that uses Android Auto or Apple CarPlay? And they've sent it over for me to look at it. And this is it. I have received the Carpool Ride W502. There's also another one, the W702. The only difference is this is a 5 inch screen, and uh, the bigger one, the 702, is a 7 inch screen. But these are basically screens, LCD screens, with a bit of uh, tech in them to run. Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. They are Bluetooth compatible, they are IP67 compatible, they can accept an SD card for you can put music on them, more on that a little bit later. They have voice commands and you, like it says you can listen to music and waterproof navigator. So let's get in the box and see what we got. All right first of all on the box uh, is a picture of the unit. We have IP67, CarPlay, Android Auto and Bluetooth. Opening it up, very nicely packaged, very firm packaging. I love to see this foam. It can handle, it can handle a lot of impacts. It's a very, very high quality foam. The unit itself, which is pretty robustly built, it does come with a ram, ram mount on the back. It comes with, it comes with the this propri proprietary cable everything even the sunscreen uh, is uh, screw mounted we have our power button right here we have an sd card slot right here again everything is screw mounted because this is waterproof on the other side we have nothing and on the back like i said the ram mount looking further into the box see we have our connection cable with a plus and minus terminals this goes straight to your battery or to a switch whichever way you like and this connects to the unit itself we have a inline fuse i really like to see that and it's a standard automotive fuse so it's easily replaceable in case something goes wrong we have a wrench this is for the handlebar mount and we have the handlebar mount itself plus also the instructions but as we are men we don't need these instructions let's get this thing out of the way in terms of mounting hardware 
again with these chinese products you expect to see a little bit of low quality but honestly this thing this thing is metal this thing again this is metal this is metal these are m6 nuts and uh, you can adjust it whichever way you like so you can mount the unit here <coughs> we just open it up put the unit inside here grab it a little bit twist so these ram mounts are a little bit of a path until you get everything settled in and uh, this is what it looks this is how it's gonna look on the handlebar this is like something like nine or ten centimeters so it goes pretty high up all right so let's fire this bad boy up connected to power the screen turns on wish my camera would focus there it goes now it's gonna detect my phone immediately and it should start up android auto just about immediately or i have to choose it no nope, there it is it recognizes my phone and uh, now we should see android auto connecting to it and there we have it we have our navigation here we can uh, come on we can remove the destination we have our points of interest we have our music right here we can go into this menu and see what other apps are compatible we have here maps we have it depends what you have installed on your phone uh, you can also customize unlock the phone so you do this customization inside android auto on your phone have your youtube music your whatsapp it depends what you have on your phone that is compatible with uh, android auto or uh, apple carplay we have this button for the google assistant or it accepts voice commands uh, if we go back to this we go to the screen if we touch on this we get the full screen if we press here we get again the split screen this is all the android auto interface but let's see what else the unit comes with so it comes with apple carplay with android auto with an equalizer for the music uh, it comes with the display off button so if you want to switch off the display you can press that button and all you have to do to turn it back on is you have to touch the display and it comes back on this is where you connect your phone for apple carplay or android auto uh, yes it does have wireless apple carplay and android auto this is where uh, you put your memory card in and you can listen to music straight off the memory card and bluetooth trance this is a very interesting thing because say you like me you listen to your music on one of these cardo units come on focus you listen to music uh, in your helmet on one of these cardo units this is a bluetooth device when you connect your phone to android auto then the phone sends all of its music to this little thing so then it doesn't send any more music to your cardo unit so this thing doesn't have speakers so what you do you go into bluetooth trance and here as you can see cardo alex i've already connected it it's currently disconnected because the unit is off but if i power it on it will connect immediately this is where the device connects to a second bluetooth unit apart from your phone and it sends the audio from your phone through this device and onto your bluetooth uh, device on your helmet either your uh, your cardo or your senna or stuff like that and uh, this thing is actually very nice for motorcycles now the only caveat is uh, the buttons on the cardo unit to skip a song don't work anymore uh, the volume wheel works, but uh, the skip uh, the buttons to skip a song don't work anymore. But you can use the Google Assistant to tell it to give you the next song. Also, if we go into settings, we have a little bit of settings for the backlight, uh, for the language, for restore factory settings, for system versions. Not a lot of settings because, again, this is not an Android tablet. This is just an Apple CarPlay or an Android Auto device. The touch screen is pretty nice and responsive the screen is very nice and bright it should work very well in a high light situation like in the summer and i really really like it it's something that i haven't seen 
It's something properly made for motorcycles and it's something that motorcycle manufacturers are still not putting on their bikes. They, they have those big TFT screens on uh, motorcycles, but they are still not putting Android Auto or Apple Car CarPlay in those big screens. They are still using their proprietary uh, softwares that honestly don't work all the time. And, and even when they work, they work horribly. The only bike that I know of that has CarPlay and only CarPlay in it is the current generation of Goldwing. But the problem I have with that bike is it has wired CarPlay and the wire for the CarPlay is in the trunk or the top case of the bike. So every time you want to go for a ride and you want to use CarPlay, you have to put your phone in the top case of the bike. You can't put it in your pocket. Now I know there are certain adapters to make CarPlay from wired to wireless, but those are a bit iffy. Why not support it, support it natively? And also, why support just CarPlay? Some people have Android phones. If I buy a Goldwing and I'm still rocking my Samsung, well, Honda says, good luck to you. We only support CarPlay. Why not Android Auto? This thing supports Android Auto, CarPlay, everything wirelessly. And also supports Bluetooth to your comms device so you can listen to music from your phone and have navigation right here on the screen. And we can have our music here. We can have our navigation here. We can have both of them. It's just like CarPlay in your car or Android Auto in your car. And I want to get this thing mounted on a scooter and go for a little bit of a ride and see how exactly it works. And if you want to buy this unit for yourself, CarPoRide was nice enough and kind enough to give me a discount code to give it to you guys. Now, the links in the description to where you can buy these are affiliate links. The channel gets a little bit of a kickback when you buy one of these units from them. But also, using the code MARY30, you can get a discount code, code of 30% for your order. But let's get it on a scooter or on a bike and uh, see how it is in traffic. All right, so I got the unit temporarily installed. Like I've said, this bracket here is very solid and the ram mount style I really like. Now, it's only temporary installed, so ignore the wire, but let's see how it works. We have the connector here, plug it in, align the markings, tie it up, and it should fire. And my Cardo immediately recognized it because it's paired. It told me GPS connected. And there we are in the main screen. Now it should connect to my phone and instantly go to uh, my Android Auto. Now, the thing I like with this is the fact that when you're in Android Auto, the phone and Google know you are on the go and immediately my music starts and uh, the phone and uh, Google Assistant and everything know that you're on uh, either driving or riding and you can't use your hands properly. So, let's, let's see if we can uh, use the navigation. Start up the scoot. So, we just press here. Hey Google, take me home. And there it goes, we got navigation. And uh, now we can leave. So my phone is nicely and in my pocket. I got music up here, I got navigation up here. Uh, like I've said, the only downside is uh, you cannot uh, change the song with the buttons on the car though, they do nothing. But if we just press on this, Hey Google, next song. Immediately it goes to the next song and it works just like any Android Auto. The screen is nice and bright. Let's just put it on the full screen. We got navigation here. Uh, we've got uh, it say it's telling me in my helmet uh, step by step instructions. I've got the speed limit here. I got the distance to home. The screen is nice and bright. The touch screen is, uh, it should be glove compatible. Let's see. Yep, the touch screen is glove compatible. Now I do have these, these gloves are leather gloves, so they, they help out with the touch screen a little bit. But if you have gloves that have those 
pointy things that uh, or that special material on your index finger and your thumb to use on a screen then it's gonna work perfectly with this the touch screen like I said is nice and responsive it's nice and bright I can see perfectly in it as you can probably tell granted it ain't a perfectly bright day outside but I see no issue with it even if uh, it would be sunny outside I'm really starting to like this and I think it's gonna find a permanent home on my GS because like I've said if you if you're looking for an alternative to having your phone mounted on the handlebar to avoid any kind of issue of uh, I don't know vibrations should have tightened it down a little bit more uh, to avoid any kind of issue with the camera problems from the vibrations and everything then this unit this is perfect if you have an iPhone it works if you have an Android phone it works it works wirelessly it connects to your Cardo or to your Senna or to your other Bluetooth device whatever you may be running and uh, you can get your music through it you can get your navigation step by step through it it shows your uh, down here it's, it shows the time, it shows your phone's battery status, it shows your phone's uh, uh, connection, we're currently on a 5G connection, it is Android Auto. So instead of manufacturers trying to get a, prop a proprietary system going, proprietary software and everything, uh, I am actually, with this unit, I am using the Google software that has been worked on and refined to the point of perfection currently. And that's what Carpyrite does. It, it doesn't try to be an Android tablet. It doesn't try to be an Android navigation system. No, it's just a little display on your screen that wirelessly connects to your Apple or your Android gives you CarPlay or Android Auto and also connects via, via Bluetooth to your headset so it can pass through the all of the audio, the music, the step-by-step -step instructions from your navigation, absolutely everything. And you can mount it wherever you want. The mount is a high-quality metal RAM-style mount. If you already have a RAM mount, then you can use that one. I'm trying to find faults with it, but I'm really struggling to find faults with it. The only thing I would say is that if you want to leave it permanently on the bike, things do get stolen, depends where you live, but things do get stolen. So uh, you might want to take it off uh, when you stop for the night. But then again, being a ram mount, taking, and go taking it off, it's just like a 30 second deal. Just undo the clamp, undo the plug, you undo the clamp, you undo the plug, and you take it off and you take it into your hotel room or you take it into your house or put it in your top case, whatever. So uh, the only caveat about it being, having the possibility of being stolen, uh, it's really not that uh, bad, it's really not that, yes it's a bit of a minus but it's really not that bad because it's so easy. Let's see if I can tighten this, nah. Definitely can tighten it. Yeah, I don't have the space to get my fingers in there to tighten it properly, but for testing it, it works perfectly and it sits here perfectly. If I would have properly mounted, I would have made it a little bit more solid and tighten everything down properly. But I was really curious to get it out on the road. And uh, it's really nice of Carpyrite to send me this unit to show you guys. And also, remember, if you click the link down in the description below to buy one for yourself, make, give yourself a little Christmas present. Uh, one, it helps out the channel because it's an affiliate link and it gives me a bit of a kickback. And also, you get a 30% discount if you use the code MARY30 at checkout. You get a 30% discount with your Carperide unit. They do shipping around the world. And as far as I can tell, what I've been talking to them via email, they are quick to respond to mails and uh, really supportive of their customers. I've looked around, a lot of people are really happy with their units. And again i see nothing right it looks high quality it looks very well built and very solid it's waterproof so you can keep on your motorcycle handlebar yeah if you're interested in one click the link down in the description below get yourself one as a christmas present and uh, enjoy the beauty of using android auto 
on uh, on your ride that's so beautiful it's so easy to use <laughs> anyway guys remember Mary 30 at checkout click the link down below and I'll catch you guys in the next video take care out there everyone and ride safe bye <laughs>